A school Brabanu is a dual stream primary school in the town of Amford in Carmarthenshire. We have 16 mainstream classrooms, seven specialist classes and one nurture group. The school's core aims and principles all sit around the children being at the heart of everything that we do. Inclusivity is a, a key part of that. For us it's having that support network and working as a team. We have high levels of training for our staff so that we ensure that we have a consistent approach to supporting all learners as and when they come in to us. As senior ALN go I need that team underneath me. We work really closely to ensure that the children's additional learning needs are catered for with early identification of needs, working with external agencies, liaising with parents and families really closely and also with the children to ensure that that person-centred approach is embedded across the school. We encourage every child to shine. They're all unique. They all have bespoke curriculum here. The children have workstations where their learning activities are. We tend to start the day with um, basket activities where we focus on their individual targets. They'll complete the three basket activities followed by a motivator, which is something that they really enjoy. Um, it could be Play-Doh, it could be slime, something that really motivates them to want to complete their learning activities in order to, to get that reward at the end. Teddy joined Yellow Class in September. Um, Teddy works with different members of staff within Yellow Class each day. All the team know him inside out. We've done so much training with ASD and the sensory learning experiences. So he's gone from a little boy who didn't want to engage to he's in a class with seven other children. He's sitting at his um, workstation completing his highly motivating cause and effect type activities. So he has been with us a very short amount of time, but in that time he has made a huge amount of progress. Our person-centred processes with regards to Teddy coming into our setting, it was massively important that we really understood the needs of Teddy and the person who knows that most is his mum and his family. And we had lots of meetings to ensure we found out lots about Teddy, what everybody liked and admired about him, but also what needs Teddy had to ensure that we had that provision in place. We also built a successful transition package for Teddy to ensure he got to see our provision and we built that up accordingly to Teddy's needs. He was in mainstream school for about three or four years before getting a place here after he had his autism diagnosis. He has an eating disorder but the school are really supportive in offering him these foods that he will eat throughout the day as well. He also has possibly a cardiac issue um, where he has episodes of unresponsiveness and require CPR so that's been really important that the school can meet all of his needs not just his learning. In terms of his autism the setting provides really good routine and structure throughout the day where he knows he has tasks to complete and then he gets um, his reward like his playtime and I think he's very stimulated in this environment. For us, person-centred practice is giving everybody the voice. We encourage parents to share their views and any concerns as soon as possible to try and achieve those best outcome and resolve disputes. We use a range of tools to get those views through questionnaires, symbols, recordings, pictures, to take everybody's views with the child at the centre. As a whole, I think the unit works really well in communicating with each other and myself. So, yeah, I'm really happy that Teddy comes to school here.